adventure fans, calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by. Dick Tracy is on the air. The makers of Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice, those two tasty, nourishing cereals that are shot from guns, now bring you another thrilling Dick Tracy adventure. And there's the sound of the big guns in the Quaker plant, where they're making puffed wheat and puffed rice for the thousands of happy families who enjoy something specially good for breakfast every day. You know, breakfast is a very important meal. It follows the longest stretch between meals and comes just before you start your active day. That calls for lots of real food energy. And that, in turn, calls for nourishing puffed wheat and puffed rice. That's why they're shot from guns. A special Quaker process explodes each grain of wheat and rice to eight times its normal size. The tiny, hard-to-digest food cells are unlocked for you so that you can use their trigger-fast food energy easily and quickly. So have Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice for breakfast often. Try them turn about. Puffed wheat one day, puffed rice the next. You know, there's a good idea for you to tell mother about. She's always trying to give you and dad something different that you really enjoy and that's specially good for you too. Well, with Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice, you have two delicious flavors for a taste variety that the whole family goes for. So tell mother about it and ask her to get some Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice at the grocer's. And then you can change flavors every day and still be getting the trigger fast food energy you need to be as quick in thought and action as Dick Tracy is. And remember, patrol members, there's another secret code message for you at the end of today's program. So be sure you have your pencil, paper, and secret code book ready. An unknown assailant called the man with the yellow face has threatened the life of the well-known Egyptologist Dryden Small. Yesterday, we heard how Dick had received a code message from Pat, who was walking on Deck A with Dryden Small. As Dick and the ship's captain hurried to Deck A, someone cried, Man overboard! It seems Pat, fighting hand-to-hand with the man with the yellow face, had been thrown overboard. The brave and courageous detective leaped over the side after his friend. Will he save him, or will he too meet death in the black waters of the ocean? Get my boat more on the side. All right, sir. Station four. Station four. Yes, it's just winning enough to pass. Hey, what? Come along, man. We've got to get that lifeboat over the side at once. It's being loud enough, sir. Good, good. Come along. Come along. You see them out there? Did they keep a level as you know it? Spot the men, smartly. There are two men on the board. Please, sir. Cover those ducks far enough. And the old men. Good luck, men. Good luck. You've got to bring them back. Uh, thank goodness they're keeping their searchlights going. Right, sir. I don't see. Hold on, sir. They're settling to port. Two points in the port bow, sir. This way. Help. That's Help. Tracy and Pat. Pull out, men. Right, sir. Side of them. Eve away there. Eve, I see. Eve. Stand by in the bow, bosun, to help him board. Aye, aye, sir. Oars. Yeah. All right, Mr. Tracy. We've got you, sir. We've got you. Take Patton. He's out. Right, sir, right. Pull him in, boys. Pull him in. Uh, now, lend him a hand. Here we are. Uh, uh. All right, you're next, Mr. Tracy. Grab hold, sir. Grab hold. Yeah. Easy. Uh, up you come, sir. Up you come. Over. Uh, thanks. There we are. Uh, oh, that water's cold. How's Patton? Hey, he'll be all right, Tracy. He's suffering from cold and shock, most likely. But we'll get him back to the ship at once. And pull away together. Stroke. 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 Well, Dick, I guess I owe my life to you once again. Someone else would have pulled you out if I hadn't been there, Pat. Uh, but no one else did. That's the point. Now that you're able to talk, Pat, tell me, what happened up there on deck? Well, Small and I noticed someone whom we took to be the man with the yellow face. Uh-huh. I immediately sent you that message asking you to come up on deck. Well, after the steward left with the message, Small and I walked aft along deck A when suddenly a figure slipped out of the shadows. He was honest before I could get set. Yeah. He knocked Small to the deck and then I grappled with him. Dick, I, I've never met anyone so powerful in all my life. I couldn't do a thing against him. He was so strong that he actually picked me up bodily and heaved me overboard. Hmm. I don't suppose you got a good look at him, Pat. No, Dick, I, I didn't. Everything happened so quickly. This 
man, Dryden Small, he knows why he's being hounded, Pat. He knows what the man with the yellow face is after. I'm convinced he also knows who the man with the yellow face is. Well, why don't we just wash our hands of the whole matter, Dick? Oh, now you know we can't do that, Pat, even though I told Small I would. But there's something I can do. I can have this out with Dryden Small. So far, we've managed to protect him, but we can't go on this way. We've got to make that fellow realize that the closer we get to America, the more desperate our adversaries will become. Come on, we might as well have this out right now. Yeah, but the doctor said he was sleeping. I can't help that. I wonder who that is. Come in. Well, Captain, come in. I don't mean to disturb you, Mr. Tracy, but something terrible has happened. Well, what is it, Captain? The thing I've been dreading has come at last. You recall earlier this evening I spoke of one of the crew being found unconscious in the storage room. He was a man with a weak heart, I said. Yes, yes, I remember. He's the man who claimed to have seen a figure standing in the door of the storage room. Yes, well, he insisted on going on with his work in the storage room. He's had another shock, Tracy. One that may be fatal. Another heart attack? Yes. From what I know, I, I'm convinced he was scared into his present state. I see. Where's the victim now? He's still down in the storeroom. The doctor is giving him first aid, trying to revive him. Pat, you stay with Dryden Small. Yeah? I'm going down to that storage room with the captain. Those two things may be linked up. I don't know how, but they may be. Okay, Dick. But don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Here, uh, take my gun. You may need it since you lost yours overboard. All right, thanks. And don't let Small out of your sight. Oh, I won't. Come along, Captain. Right. If what you say is true, we may have to make new plans at once to trap the man we're looking for. Well, Doctor? He's still in the deep coma, Captain. I haven't been able to do a thing for him. I'm afraid he must be taken to the ship's hospital. Oh, very well, Doctor, very well. I've already sent for a stretcher. Splendid. Give him the best of care. I tell you, Tracy, it, it was something the man saw. Captain, may I suggest that your men make a thorough search of the hold at once, especially the storage room? I've already seen to that, Tracy. What you told me this evening about the strange apparition this man saw may certainly have something to do with this. Perhaps it was the man with the yellow face. By the way, what... What's that thing over there? You're that? <laughs> That's the mummy case Dryden Small is bringing back to America. I believe it contains the mummy of Tadonkamul's second son. Frankly, Tracy, I'd feel much happier if Tadonkamul never had a second son. Yes. A mummified passenger isn't altogether pleasant. Uh, what I'm worried about is the effect of all this on the crew, Tracy. They talk a great deal. Too much, perhaps. Rumors get around, you know. Before you know it, your ship has a bad name. I... I don't like it. I can well understand that. Ah, here comes the mate. Have you found anything? No, nothing, sir, not a thing. The men are still going over everything, though, just to be sure. Ah, thank you. Well, Tracy, there doesn't seem to be much either of us can do here. Do you care to join me in my cabin? A little coffee, perhaps? Some sandwiches? Yes, I'll enjoy it very much. But I feel the most important place for me to be right now is back in Dryden Small's cabin. All right, I'll have the coffee sent there. Hey, Doug, sir. This way, Captain. Drive in small stateroom is down this way. Yes. You know, Tracy, it certainly is reassuring to have you on board this trip. I'd hate to have all these bizarre things happening without you here to help clear them up. Well, I haven't cleared them up, Captain. No, but I know your reputation. I have absolute confidence in you, Tracy. Well, thank you. This is really one of the most puzzling cases I've ever encountered. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I ever had so little of a tangible nature to work with. There's so many things I'd like to know... I'd give a great deal, for instance, to know what the black pearl of Osiris is and where it is. I'd like to know why the man with the yellow face is so anxious to get hold of it. To make it brief, Captain, I, I'd like to know what it's all about. Mm, that is all that, eh? Well, I'll say this, Tracy. I'll be a very much relieved man when this ship docks at New York. I dare say. Well, here we are. Mm -hmm. ah, Pat must be in the bedroom. Yes, he, uh... I have told you this before. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Voice, to... strange voice. Yeah. Listen. I have no desire to discuss this matter with you at any length. All I ask from you is that you tell me where the Black Pearl is. The Black Pearl of Osiris. I don't know, I tell you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Your friend, Ryden Small, practiced the same deception. He, too, pretended ignorance of the Black Pearl of Osiris. You see what has happened to him. The same thing will happen to you. This pearl-handled revolver of his may not be very impressive looking, but I rather think if it is well aimed and uh, skillfully handled, it can be deadly indeed. Now listen, I'm telling you. You that will I... tell me nothing but what I want to know. Where is the black pearl of Osiris? 
Answer you, white devil, or it will be the worse for you. Great heavens, Tracy. What, what's going on in there? It's evident the pet's on the spot. I never heard that voice before, but I'll bet it's the man with the yellow face. What can we do? Have you a gun? No, I haven't. Neither have I. I gave mine to Patton. I can get one, though. No, there's no time. We've got to work quickly. But you can't do anything against that man without a gun? Time grows short, my friend. Answer me quickly. I refuse to waste further words with you. Now, listen. I'm telling you the truth. Why should I lie to you? I don't know where the black pearl you're talking about is. This little pearl-handled revolver is about to speak. I do not think you would care to hear its voice. Now, I tell you, you've got me all wrong. I don't know any more about that black pearl than you do, or Tracy does. He tried to get dry and small to tell us, but he wouldn't. Very well, my friend. I see you are not only stubborn, but reckless of your life. And so it Ready, becomes Captain. necessary for anything. Really anything. To... What are you going to do? Pull a bluff, Captain. Pull a bluff. To kill you. And believe me, my friend, you could have avoided it if you had wanted to. However, you forced my hand. And so... Dick! Dick! Oh, there you are. Drop that gun or I'll drop you. Who is the man with the yellow face? And will Tracy succeed in bluffing him? What is the mystery of the Black Pearl of Osiris? We'll soon know. But now the makers of Quaker Puffed Wheat and Quaker Puffed Rice, those two delicious nourishing cereals that are shot from guns, invite you to attend the meeting of the Dick Tracy Secret Service Patrol. And here's Dick Tracy, Jr., your patrol president now. The 21st meeting will now come to order. And today I have another secret code message for you patrol members. So get your pencil and paper ready, fellows and girls. You know, one reason why we're sending you these secret messages every day is that Dick Tracy wants you to be able to use the code as easily and as quickly as he does. That's important. And that's why you should send at least one code message to every patrol member you know every day. That's the way to get good at it, and it's a lot of fun. But now, get ready for today's secret message from Dick Tracy. Here it is. It's football. 10, 11, 7, 17, 11, 26. 17, 9, 12, 25. 5, 17, 6, 15. 11, 25, 13, 3, 26. Did you get it? Repeat it, Junior, to make sure. Okay. Here you are. It's football. 10, 11, 7, 17, 11, 26. 17, 9, 12, 25. 5, 17, 6, 15. 11, 25, 13, 3, 26. And remember, fellows and girls, that's a real message from Dick Tracy to you. Follow those instructions because something very important is about to happen. And if you or any of your friends are missing all the fun we're having, tell them how to join the patrol right away. You know, you just mail two Quaker Puff Tweet or Quaker Puff Rice box tops or one of each with your name and address to Dick Tracy, Box L, Chicago. Then you're a full-fledged member. You get the secret code book, the Dick Tracy Pledge, and the patrol member's badge. And don't forget to form your own active Dick Tracy patrol. It tells you how to in the secret code book. And then you're a patrol leader, and Dick Tracy sends you the special patrol leader's badge to wear with your regular badge. And say, patrol members, have you been promoted to the rank of sergeant or lieutenant yet? It's a real honor to wear one of those officers' badges, you know. Look it up in your code book and start now to win your promotion. Show Dick Tracy the kind of stuff you're made of. There go the big guns to remind you that Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice are actually shot from guns to give you lots of trigger-fast energy in two different delicious cereals that thousands enjoy every day. And if there isn't any puffed wheat or puffed rice in your pantry now, be sure to ask Mother to order some for you at the grocer's. Calling all adventure fans. Calling all Dick Tracy fans. Stand by for another exciting Dick Tracy adventure tomorrow at this same time. That is all. Yeah.